Hi, I'm Allison Ellis of Floral Artistry. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I want to talk to you about one of the problems that I know florists face so much, they always have and probably always will, and that is the request from a customer to give you a stem count. So this has most likely happened to you. I know it's happened to me. And it can be hard for some people to know how to address this question. So I wanna just lay it out there that there should be just like this new rule in the floral industry that we just don't give a stem count. Can we just make that like a new rule? Like we just, we don't do that. That's not what we do. And there's a couple of reasons why you don't wanna do it. One is because most of the time the person who's asking you for a stem count hasn't actually put you under deposit yet, right? Like they haven't even given you a contract. In fact, they probably haven't even said to you, I'm so excited to work with you. What they've said is, I'm looking for a price. So the person who's looking for a stem count most of the time is not actually someone who's like invested in working with you or drawn to your style or an ideal customer if you check the boxes of what makes an ideal customer for you. The person who's really interested in a stem count is just price shopping. By the way, when you give them the stem count, what do they do with it? Who knows, right? How do they know whether 10 roses is good or if it should be 15 or if really six is better for them? They have no idea. So they're asking you to do a lot of work to give away your recipe before they're even under contract. So just recognize that about the situation because you do recognize that. That's why every time someone asks you for a stem count, you're kind of like, Ur. it's rightly so that you feel that way. You should not be giving away a stem count. Um, personally, I don't even do a stem count after somebody is booked. If, if it was like really a problem for somebody and they just really needed it for some reason, I suppose I would. But there's, it's kind of hard to do that because then you're stuck. You're stuck with that stem count being like what you've now promised to the customer instead of the overall look, style, vibe, feeling. We want to sell the look, style, vibe, vibe, feeling, not the number of stems in the bouquet. More stems doesn't make it better, right? How do they know what each stem costs in order to be able to, let's face it, they're comparing this, right? If they're getting a stem count from you, it's because they already have a stem count from someone else or because they're now about to seek another stem count, okay? So again, you're giving a lot of information just to be sort of knocked down a peg and not judged on your talent or your ability or your customer service. You're being judged on your stem count. Let's put this into perspective. Just say the same customer who wants a stem count from you before booking approaches a caterer and says, you know, I uh, would, I love this um, chicken franchise that you make. I haven't, I, I've only tasted uh, chicken franchise one other time, but I know I love this and I'd like to have it at my wedding. Um, can you tell me how much it costs and tell me exactly what you put into it? I want to know the ingredients, including the measurements. How many cups, how many teaspoons, how many tablespoons. I want your entire recipe for this dish um, before I book with you. That sounds insane in the membrane. And there's a reason why. Because it is. And that caterer would just say, that's not what we do. And so now you, floral designer, can say the same thing. That's not what I do. I don't give you a recipe that you can then either try to DIY yourself or bring to another florist so the other florist can, you know, undercut me. Nope. Take the stem count out of it because the stem count is not what makes your value. You add value through your expertise, through your customer service, through your care and handling of both the product and the customer from start to finish. Your value is not directly related to your stem count. That's your mantra. No more stem counts, people. I love you. Do not give a stem count. That's my tip for today. I hope you find it helpful. Tune in for more updates. I will see you next time. Keep doing beautiful work, no matter how many stems you put in.